How to check alternator amperage with multimeter. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Auto V Fix. In today's video, I will show you how to check alternator amperage with a multimeter in just five simple steps. A multimeter is a device that can measure voltage, resistance and current. When using a multimeter to check alternator amperage, you can quickly detect issues with your vehicle's charging system. One of the most important parts of a car's electrical system is the alternator, which provides power for all the electronic devices within your vehicle. To ensure that the alternator is functioning properly, it will require that you check its amperage with a multimeter. So, how do you go about that? Well, here are the simple steps to help you. 1. Turn off all accessories before beginning. 2. Connect one lead of your multimeter directly to the positive plus terminal on your battery. Make sure that it is firm by using pliers to make it tighter. 3. Connect another lead from the meter directly onto the negative side of the same terminal. This will allow current flow between both leads so that when voltage measurements are taken, they show exactly what's going on inside the engine compartment. 4. Set up the meter. Most meters have two types, AC and DC. Select the appropriate setting based on the type of meter you are using. Note, if you are not sure about the type to select, check the user manual. 5. Start the engine. When you start the engine, after a few seconds, check the reading on the display screen. If the reading falls below the manufacturer's specified range, then there may be an issue with either a faulty internal component like a diode rectifier bridge, etc., or a loose connection. If the level falls below 12 volts, then something is wrong, and you should contact a technician to replace or repair the necessary parts. How do I find out how many amps my alternator is? The easiest way to find out how many amps your alternator is capable of producing is by checking its specifications. Alternators are rated according to their output capacity in terms of amperes, amps. The rating is printed on a label attached to the unit or you can find it in its manual. To find out the number of amps your alternator can take, check a stamp on your alternator with its part number and other identifying details. This should include its make and model as well as its rated output in amps or A. It may also have an abbreviation such as AR for alternating current regulator output. If this information is not on the stamp, check the user manual to see if it is written there. How many amps does my alternator charge at? The number of amps your alternator can charge at depends on the size of the vehicle. Alternators in small vehicles range from 60 to 80 amps, while those in larger vehicles are graded at 150 amps or more. It's important to understand how much power an alternator can provide so that it doesn't become overloaded and cause damage to other components in your vehicle. Do I need a 160 or 145 amp alternator? Modern cars require more amperage than older models due to their higher tech features like air conditioning units that draw additional electricity from the system. If these types of accessories are present in your vehicle, then a 160 amp model would be recommended over a 145 amp as this will ensure that enough current can be supplied without any issues. How many amps is a 12 volt alternator? 12 volt alternators normally provide between 40 and 160 amps depending on their design. For example, small passenger vehicles may only require an output current rating between 40 and 60 amps while larger SUVs or trucks may need up to 160 amps for proper operation due to increased power. The amount an alternator produces also depends on how much load it has to handle. A larger vehicle with more electrical components will require a higher amp rating than smaller vehicles with fewer components. What should a 12V alternator charge at? A standard 12V alternator should be charging between 13 and 14 volts when running at full capacity. Anything below 12 volts indicates that there may be an issue with either the wiring or components within the electrical system itself. At the same time, anything above 15 volts could indicate overcharging due to faulty regulator settings or worn out brushes inside the alternator. So basically testing an alternator's amperage requires 
you to have some basic knowledge, but once understood, the process is fairly simple using just any digital multimeter. Also, understanding the readings will help you diagnose any fault. I hope you found this video to be informative and valuable. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video to support our channel. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.